کنفرانس جوامع ایرانیان در 42 شهر جهان این گیرید به تانکور دوران عوض شده است شما نقطه امید هستید مریم رهبر است ما در کنار شما هستیم و ما پیروز خواهیم شد It's a very, very special moment for me. You know, when um, many years ago, uh, when we were fighting uh, for your lives, when you were in, in Camp Liberty, and we were feeling the despair and the rage of being caught in that horrible situation where we were surrounded by lies and where we felt so impotent to do anything. And the only thing we could do was crying for help and denouncing what was happening and showing and speaking for you. To see you here in this land that has welcomed you with open arms. You know, in, in June, last June 23rd, we were all, some of you here and all others, um, uh, we, we were uh, in, in the International Conference in Paris with many great speakers, amazing people, many of you were there. And then uh, we had the information that there was this uh, bomb uh, threat and that it had been um, the Belgian police, the, the uh, French and the Germans dismantled the whole attempt to, uh, to kill us. And while the Iranian regime of the Mola is trying to destruct and to kill because it's the only thing they know how to do well, you here, you were building. You were building and you were constructing. And I came here a year ago, there was nothing. And here we are in this amazing venue where I have been walking in the streets of this new city, Ashraf 3. I'm so proud to be here with you guys. Because I know that perhaps for you it has come like a, a routine thing, like building Ashraf one after the other, and you're very good at it, but I have to tell you how much I admire you because uh, it's not easy to master the, the, the solidarity, the aim, the goal of rebuilding on and on and on again and again after all the attempts to ruin everything you do. You are like the phoenix that rise from the ashes. And this Ashraf is telling me the, the power that is in you. Um, it's, it's not only the fact that we are you, reunited physically here, it's also what you have accomplished as a network. I was looking at all the people that are with us today, looking at, at this and joining us through, through internet. You have built a community of people that are committed to fight for a free Iran people that are Iranians and people that are not. And we are all together. And if we are here today, and if we are here physically and virtually through, through internet, it's because we believe that fighting for a free Iran, it's not something that only touches the Iranian people. 
we know to the heart of every one of us that your victory is our victory, and it's the victory of human dignity. You are building here an amazing proof of resilience, but you are also building here the, the city of hope, a hope for every person in the world that thinks that they cannot do much. And here you're proving that because you're together, even if one by one we feel that we are impotent, we know now that all together we can make the difference. You are the builders of hope. You are the ones who are promoting one year of protestation in Iran. Can you imagine? Can you imagine what it is for the government of Iran, for the regime of the Mullahs, every day looking at the newspapers and finding out that there is a riot somewhere in some place in Iran. And every day you are reminding them that they have no right to be at the head of the state in Iran. Every day you are reminding them that they have abducted the people of Iran. Every day you are reminding them that the state of situation of oppression of lack of human rights, of lack of freedom to, to speak out, of lack of being oneself, the, the deprivation they have imposed on the people of Iran, every day you are reminding them that it's going to come to an end. It's, it's very difficult when you are in a country where you have the police, where you have the revolutionary guards that are, of course, um, chasing everyone into their own homes to, to put them in jail, to silence them, to make a situation of fear. It's because you are organized with a plan, with a strategy, with a leader like Miriam Rajavi. been able to prove to the people of Iran and to the world that you don't need to have a beer and to have arms to lead a country. She is a woman. And she is a woman who has the supreme arm of all, which is love. Love is the one that will bring Iran to freedom. And, and you see, uh, I was listening intently to uh, what Miriam was saying, because it is true that terrorism has been part of, of the nature of the Mullah's regime. At the beginning, it was the tool they used for spreading their belief, their, their ex extremist revolution, and also to um, imply a fear to, to the people of Iran to divide the community so that women would be in one side, men in the other, and so it was easier to divide and to rule. But now, terrorism is used as a defensive tool just to safeguard their interests. And this is a major shift. If you remember, five years ago, we were in the defensive side. We were the ones having to come and explain that the MEK was an organization for freedom and not a terrorist group. We needed to fight for your lives. We needed to find support all over the world so that people would see you as we see you. But now, it's a turning point. Everything has changed. Now it's them who have to explain. You see, after the, um, 
the, the attempt of, of bombing in, in France, President Macron took a decision uh, that really is like a red signal of what is to come. He freezed the assets, the financial assets of um, the Ministry of Intelligence that it had assets in France, they were freezed. Uh, he expelled um, uh, people uh, of the Iranian embassy that were, um, you know, found um, accomplice to, to the attempt. And he was about to appoint an ambassador in Iran, and he decided not to do it. I think that things are changing, that have a voice, that have power, that are siding with us, and that are putting pressure all over to just dismantle the lies, the fake news, um, all this array of false information to tarnish your reputation, but especially to make the Mollis regime uh, seem like uh, the best option. No, the best option is here. The best option for Iran is freedom with Miriam Rajavi. And now, and now, it's them who fear. And they are fearing that they will be brought to justice. And this is our commitment. We are going to make sure that we free Iran and that we bring them to international justice. We want them to be in jail for all the crimes they have committed. And we will have the international uh, community, we will have uh, the, the leaders of the world helping us in that endeavor. Time has changed. You are the hope. Miriam is the leader and we are with you and we're gonna win this. Thank you.